Jim. Darlene, Jim. Um, I'm so glad I have a chance to uh, test drive the uh, Vin Fast Day at night this morning, and I'm very impressed with it. Yeah, for sure. So, I hope you can uh, share with me on my uh, YouTube channel like uh, who you are and uh, what you do for what you do for Vin Fast. All right. Uh, my name is Darlene Huang. I grew up in Vietnam uh, and I uh, worked in, few, uh, in doing some companies in Vietnam before I came to the US. In 2019, I graduated from um, the school in Alabama. I got an MBA and then I tried in class one year ago. And uh, now I'm managing the store here in Houston, Houston. Uh, Vinfast started to operate in the in 2021 and now we have 15 showrooms in California and we have four service centers. Um, our showroom has six people, six staff here ready to help and support to the customer. Uh, the whole process from uh, the beginning from the petrol to delivery. Currently, uh, Vinfast is on a website. In, in, uh, in the U.S. also uh, been fast via uh, Can you tell me the latest promotion? I know, I know the, the, the price uh, changing a lot. Uh, just like any other company, so can you tell me the latest promotion? So that's right. So uh, right now we have a promotion two hundred forty nine a month. For the eco, for the A. That's a five-seat mid-size SUV car. Um, all on basic color on the A. So you, you can come to take it out and you can get your foot uh, with your zip code because it's based on the zip code. So I cannot tell you exactly the uh, exact number of the, uh, the monthly payment. But before that, it's only 249 a month with uh, $999 Taxes, fee, registration, DMV, everything included. Uh, the output is around 3,000. Okay, that's great. And the financing uh, is still through the U.S. Bank. Is that right? Yes, uh, you can use the U.S. Bank with zero interest um, and 7,500 discount for the finance with U.S. Bank, or you can use your own bank like. A welcome or cheese or something. Uh, we still discount some five hundred for for your old bank. Okay. And for those who are concerned about uh, the cost of the insurance, I I own a we been fast DFA uh, in the last uh, in the past eighteen months. I'm still driving it, and I, I pay around a hundred and. Hundred and twenty dollar a month just for the uh, in fast BFA through Geico, and uh, I understand some company charge a lot more, but uh, I got from Geico for like one hundred and twenty dollar. Yes. The best part is they allow uh, all members in my family. Um, you know, I bought every everybody the same yes. policy, and they let everybody in my family all sick of it, drive uh, in fast BFA. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I have another question. Uh, maybe you can share with uh, my audience. Is, uh, you know, a lot of people are concerned with Vinfast because it's a brand new uh, company operated in the U.S. and a new product, and they 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 concerned about what if uh, they need services or if Service? they can't kind of break down. Uh, so how how is Vinfast uh, handle? Uh, Technical support and repair, you know, at least in California. Thank you for your question. Um, actually, VFAS service is very, very good. So, we have 24 7 phone center. And if a customer has any problem, they can call them and someone will pick up the phone right away. If they cannot pick up the phone, so they will call you back as soon as possible. Also, we have roadside assistance 24 7 too. We have a home service, we call it a mobile service. Mm -hmm. So if um, uh, your car needs to be serviced, mm -hmm. so we will send someone, a technician, to come to your house to fix it. Mm -hmm. And if not, 
we can bring your car to the service center. We have four service centers in California, two in the north and two in the south. So the warranty is for 10 years, right? So you just buy the car or lease a car and the class will take care of it for you for 10 years. Right, thank you. I, I drive, uh, I mean, I own a bin pack here, okay, so I'm, I'm very familiar with the uh, bin pack uh, mobile service. I live. You are that service? Huh? Do you like the service, the mobile service? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Very excellent. Um, I live in Sacramento, and the closest uh, Vinta service center is Richmond, yes. which is about, um, I think, 70 minutes or uh, an hour and a half drive in the traffic. Yes. So, uh, in the last, yeah. Yeah. so, in the last 18 months, they came to uh, my, either my work or my home about four or five times. And most of the time, um, small requests like something is not uh, working like uh, the mirror on the uh, you know, steering wheel at one time the, uh, the button didn't work uh, yes. the car still drivable but they came uh, all the way from the Bay Area to Sacramento mm -hmm. now and a lot, uh, most of the time they came also for uh, software updates yes and uh, by the way the latest software update uh, I forgot the name right now. Um, yeah. uh, 9.1.18. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, think, I think that's what I had about a few days ago, and that's when Vinfast uh, mobile service came to my house. Yes. And, uh, the car now is safe, the uh, driver's, uh, the user setting is safe now. So yes. You don't, you no longer have to uh, turn off the, the warning, the drive, the lane check, lane keep, lane keep assist. You know? Yes. That's something that I think that's the top thing top complaints from uh, yes. from people who drive the Vinfast here but they say they, they have to they have to go to the turn, off every time. Uh, turn off the setting each time they use the car. Yeah. To me it's not a big deal. I still can drive with it because uh, it just, you are used to it. Yeah I mean you could, it help it it remind you to be a good driver. But yes. for people who don't like uh, the car to tell you to be a good driver uh, they're, they're, they don't want to hear the uh, the sound uh, yes. the warning. Now uh, it saved your setting, so you no longer have to uh, uh, check the setting each time. Yeah. So, so I don't know anything else. Almost no issue right now with, uh, with my uh, database. Yes. Thank you for sharing. And I have another question. Um, so far, you know, not doing the uh, software update. They have to do it in person. And I remember when I first got the CD edition like over a year ago, I did the software update over the air one time in at my home uh, but after that i think almost every update been passed have to come to my location and do the, the update because it takes uh, a couple hours because of the connection with the internet so do you know anything anything about in the future uh, can can, can provide update over the air updates okay. i'm asking this because uh, i have read a lot of people from another state, they want to drive Vinfast car, but they they are afraid that Vinfast cannot come and do the software update in their state. So, do um, you know anything about is that going to happen? In um, the, about the technician? Um, over the air update. Over the air update. So actually, I don't have a timeline yet for that. But actually, uh, we are working on that and we are trying to uh, have it as well possible. So in the future, if the customers stay at home and they want to update the software, they just click to update, mm -hmm. and the car user internet at home and update the car over the air. But now, uh, we still need the technician to come to your house, or you need uh, the traffic to the city centers. Uh, but in the future, we do have it. Um, we are working with that very aggressively. Um, and also about the customer outside of the state, for me now, we have around 20, actually yesterday I checked, it's around 24 uh, dealerships Dealer. outside of the state already and they have service center there too and they are well trained uh, to fix the car or service the cars, right? So that the customer can, uh, can go to um, those dealerships to buy or lease the car and they will take care of them. Uh, so now we have the little receipts in Texas. I remember 
this nature is four, four in the city is in Florida, three in Florida. Uh, we have in New York, we have in Kansas, we have in North Carolina, we have in Connecticut, we have most of the biggest state. So we have a three, so the customer can come here and they have three supports and they will take care of it. I think the best way to learn about um, what's going on with the Green Pass and number of dealerships is uh, get, getting on the website. I think. Uh, yes, we uh, the website is Green Pass All Over the US. The customer can go there and click to store location, and they can see all of the dealership uh, locations in there, and they can choose which one is closest to their house. Okay. Yes. Anyway, thank you so much for um, sharing with. Uh, my channel Thank about you. Uh, bin pass and bin pass car and some of the concerns. Um, as you know, I told you and I told almost anyone who asked me why I'm on my channel. Basically, the reason I'm doing this because I, I own the bin pass here, like the CD yes. edition from That's the right. very beginning. And I, I love the car from day one, and it's a very good car. And um, and I feel I'm, I have a responsibility to share my own experience with the public. Yes. The reason I do this is because it's a new product from Vietnam and I feel like I'm, I'm, I have a responsibility to you know, to inform the public about the new product because yes. this is a very exciting uh, product and it's very um, you know, high, high tech, high end and the reason I feel like I have to do it also because I, you know, I I read a lot of uh, reviews, mixed yes. reviews, and a lot of them are inaccurate. A lot of them, I feel like people are using been fast to um, to make their video viral, and I feel like a lot of things they uh, they share are not true because I, I'm the owner. I know the product more than any of the people who never seen the product. They they spread, you know. It broke my heart when I see my own people, give me American comment stuff like don't drive the wind pack. No, it's the worst car, it will break down and it will burn. Or uh, the company is a scam. And they see they said all kind of really uh, I mean I don't think it makes no sense and then I feel like I have to protect this product because it's a good product and, and it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't deserve to, to be treated badly like this. And I don't like people who spread false information like lie. And I, I don't like people who bully other people. Like uh, when I was young, when I first came to this country, I faced a lot of bullying from, because of my uh, ethnic and uh, my limited English, right? So I always fight. I, always, I fought back bully and I always win. <laughs> so I have a lot of really cool story about that. But when I see Vinpa VFA, yes. I, I, I see myself in it. And also my wife has a very similar uh, experience. You know, a lot of, she got a lot of bullying too because we're different. We live in a different environment. So we, people treat us different and it's sometimes yes. unfair, right? Yes. So I, when I drive a Vinpa and I hear people, um, Spread information that I feel like they bullying the new product. You know, they they try to uh, they try to uh, ruin it before it even have a chance to uh, you know before people even, before the general public even get to know about it. You know, they're already being uh, told that you know don't, don't even bother. You know. So, anyway, I, I should talk about it, but basically that's what my channel is about: fighting uh, black bullies. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you for your I don't, I don't work for Vinpa. People accuse me of, you know, getting paid uh, to drive a Vinpa car. But the more they say it's just stuff like that, the more I'm motivated to share you know, my experience. So anyway, the reason I'm telling you my story because I want to ask you, uh, what do you want the general public to, um, to know about? Uh, why should they be considered driving a Vinpa electric car? Uh, Based on your own experience, you drive one too. I see. So uh, for me, uh, I have been driving in fast car for about one year already, and I save a lot of gas, fuels, 
like it's cheaper around 50 to 70 percent because they have uh, the level two home charger at home. So uh, I save a lot of money and also I like the ad adaptive cruise control function of VinFast. So every time I go to the OC, mm -hmm. so I just spread the button and then yeah, turn the volume up uh, of the music a little bit and then relax, drink, eat. Mm -hmm. and I don't need to drive so um, I mean all the technologies and functions of being passive are just amazing uh, music, watching video, heads up display, Apple CarPlay uh, and Auto so we have all the functions uh, besides the kitchen sensor or something like um, this is it's amazing uh, also the body of the car is very very hard and it can protect yourself um, uh, if something happens to your car please protect yourself your body because uh, the car has 11 airbags on safety feature uh, emergency braking uh, forward collision function on safety features that you should consider to buy the car also compared to other uh, cars on the market now, so the price is just uh, very affordable for everyone. So uh, just come to cash out the car because now we have the promotion. So if you cash out the car, you have a chance to win the trip to Vietnam. It's worth twelve thousand dollars for four people in the family, or you can take anyone with you, uh, including airline tickets, uh, seven days stay in Vinpearl. Free meals, free coffee, free uh, tickets to go to Savory World. So you can basically this is a it's a vacation for the whole family for free. And if you just ride a car, so we uh, we have six people, uh, six winners, and one winner every month. Yeah. So the, the people have to come to the showroom to yes. qualify? Yes, uh, they should come to the showroom, sign up for the cash ride, and then cash ride the car. Mm -hmm. And after that, they can sign up for the promotion. Mm -hmm. uh, our showroom, uh, our showroom, the address is, the address is uh, 52, 52, 31st Street, San Mateo, uh, California. And our phone number is 650-753-1414. One more time, 650-753-1414. You can call us, make an appointment, or you can go to the website, sign up for a test ride, and we will take care of you. And as for who, Darlene? So this this, this uh, offer and this program is uh, available on all Vinfast showroom in yes. California. Yes, if you go to our showroom, you can go there. But if you go to the Bay Area, you can go to our showroom or other stores here in North Carolina. So, uh, so people have to come to the showroom to test drive right to right qualify for this. Uh, yes. Yes, please come to us and the BMA, the BMI available in the parking lot. But that's why you are welcome to the class. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. And thank you. You, you know anything about the? I know now we have the BMI coming on the way. Do you hear anything about the BF7, BF6, BF3? Uh, we don't have the exact time yet, but hopefully we will have it uh, in the next few months. The next few months? Yes. So in, in 2024? Uh, yes, hopefully. hopefully. But I, I cannot say about exact time yet because okay. I don't want people to expand it and then uh, yeah, they have to wait. Okay. So that's a VF6, VF7. Mm, VF6, VF7. And we, we don't know about the VF3 yet. Yes. Okay. It's all over in Vietnam. Yes. It's floating. Yes, but now we have the VF8 and VF9. Is, uh -huh. The VF8 is just, um, I mean, just perfect for our commute to work. And the VF9, the 70s, uh, just perfect for the whole family, the whole crew. Yeah. yeah. But the interesting thing I've been hearing is a lot of American. Uh, anxious to uh, see the VF3. <laughs> I think because of the price. A lot, a lot of people, they they don't want to pay a lot of money for EV. They want something that's simple and yes. get around in town. You know? So I'm, I'm excited about that. Yes, I understand that. But uh, 
uh, compared to the price on the market. So I think that the real thing is just amazing, perfect for the price, and, uh, perfect to commute to work and go around to the market, go to pick up the kids at the school, something. It's just perfect for me, based on my experience. All right, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Video. Uh -huh. He watches videos, he's kicked back like this, resting. Uh huh. And a bunch of people looking in there. What is this guy doing? Is that a <laughs> Tesla? It's a Vinfast. It's a Vinfast. Okay. Where you went, where you what? Where you win fast. Where you win fast. Win fast, where you win fast. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. Because we're all winners. If we have a time to, to share in a Vinfast showroom and have fun and just laugh, I think that's a winning vibe. That's good vibrations okay. from good people. We're winning. Just for smiling, that's already a win. Anyway, positive stuff. Positive. Uh, anyway, first question. How did you end up uh, in uh, a Vinfast showroom? I mean, other than you look like Vietnamese. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a Vietnamese name, Tittle. <laughs> <laughs> that means a uh, oh boy. Young child. Oh, really? I'm what asking, does it mean? I'm asking you. I don't know. What does Tito I, I don't know. What Tittle mean? Tittle. Tittle. What does Tittle mean in Vietnamese? I, I, Tittle? Tittle. T I T O, Tito, Tito. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, okay. No worries. No so, worries. <laughs> the next question. Next anyway, question. <laughs> second question. Do you like pho? Yeah, absolutely. I like pho, bam mi sandwiches. Um, that's as far as I know. Okay. This right here, Vietnamese coffee. Oh. Shout out to these guys right here. I got this from our manager. She bought it for the whole showroom with bami sandwiches. Extra spicy, light on the uh, light on the ice, and um, rice mushroom. You know what to call? Oh, cafe soda. Cafe. Cafe soda. Yeah. Cafe soda. Ice coffee. Yeah, yeah. Cafe soda. Yeah, yeah. Cafe soda. Yeah. That's like Spanish. Yeah. Cafe. Mm -hmm. Cafe. That's good. That's good. It's very good. So uh, let the third question. Do you have fun doing what you're doing with? Absolutely. I, I, I do have fun. Genuinely, I do have fun. The guys that we work with are really cool to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, tons of knowledge that I'm able to absorb that and mm -hmm. learn from them to perfect my craft. So I do have fun learning. I do have fun talking to random people every day. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's a good way to make money. You don't want to make sad money and be depressed before you go to work and depressed at work and depressed after work. You want to find something that you like doing. Mm -hmm. And you like talking to people, do sales. Mm -hmm. Sales is good. Uh, how familiar are you with the VinFast VFA? Because that, this car been around in the US like a year and a half now. Correct, correct. Yeah. When, when, when was the first time you have experience with the, the VinFast VFA? My first experience with the VinFast was actually a test drive. I came in inquiring about leasing mm -hmm. last year, like a year and a half ago. Uh -huh. I was new here from Florida and I needed a car. Uh -huh. So I came in here, I spoke with uh, the manager that was here before, was Alfred. They gave me a test drive, they gave me really good numbers, and I became friends with them essentially. I was working retail around the corner, mm -hmm. and uh, we were just kind of saying hi and bye, normal cordial friends. Mm -hmm. And um, they actually offered me a job. At the same time, I was going to look for them and ask them for a job. So it was like <laughs> a, it was a weird crossfire there where we were looking for each other for employment. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I, I've been here since, and uh, I hold loyalty for VinFast because I can stand by the company. My mm -hmm. family drives these cars. I drive these cars. My coworkers drive these cars for test drives, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's a it's a good it's a good situation. It's new, mm -hmm. but new isn't bad. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people think it's new. I'm scared. Honda was new. Honda had reviews that you know we we all seen were bad. Um, VinFast is on the way up, and, uh, and, and I got to say thanks to Tesla. I have to say thanks to Tesla because they paved the way. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. So we can't forget about the big brother, okay? Even though the chairman might see this, he's, <laughs> he's the, uh, the, the Tesla of Vietnam, okay? I respect Tesla. I respect VinFast. Um, I'm a car enthusiast, so mm -hmm. I like cars in general. I don't care what kind of car it is. As long as it runs, I like it. Okay. So um, 
what do you have to say to uh, a lot of American people um, out there? A lot of them never heard of VinFast, and they may have seen a VF8 driving around, and they really like it, and then they go online, and then they start learning about yeah. uh, mixed uh, review. A lot of uh, a lot of really popular YouTuber uh, right. uh, give, or even the journalists give a really bad review about the early right. VF8, but they are. There are now I start seeing a lot more people who actually own the car and drive it, and then right. they they tell a, a very positive review. Right. What right. What do you have to say to people who might be very confused when they see a, a Vinfast showroom? They walk in here and they see a beautiful, mm -hmm. some beautiful uh, model, but they they kind of have that thing in their mind. Yeah. This is a bad car. This is a stay away from it. Don't touch it. It's uh, it's the worst review. <laughs> I would I would really what do say have, how would, how do we deal with people who come in here with that you know with that confused uh, mentality? So so it's, it might sound cliche or whatever, but I would I would genuinely say don't believe everything you see on the internet. Mm -hmm. That's just just modern statement. We've all heard it before. Don't believe everything you hear on the internet. Mm -hmm. Most of the guys that give us bad reviews were denied a credit application, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe they weren't treated like the king of the city, so they, they had some animosity towards a client advisor, so they want to say something negative about the company. Well, I'm Maybe not, they applied yeah, for, for yeah. work here. Maybe they were denied for I'm, I'm not talking about the review on the, uh, on the company. I'm talking about the um, car reviewer like on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Or people review the car. You know? I think it's a good car. And mm -hmm. um, if you've seen it on the road, you're going to see it again and again and again. And again, you're going to see VinFast down the street, up the street, at the gas station, not to get gas, but to get some chips from the grocery <laughs> store or something. But you're going to see VinFast everywhere. That's what happened to Tesla. They didn't have commercials everywhere. They didn't have a billboard either. Mm -hmm. They started word of mouth, you know, with a good price and a good product. And where they started and from where we're starting, mm -hmm. we have a little stronger leg. Mm -hmm. Um, the only downfall is that no one knows who we are because we're from a we're we're a foreign company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thankfully, a lot of people are into foreign cars, so we we have a small advantage, honestly. And and for the uh, for the communities out there that that have something negative to say because it's from a different place. Yeah, it's Pininfarina Design. It's an Italian designer. You know, it's it's not just Vietnam. It's got Italian design. It's got French glass. It's got Bosch parts. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the car is for everyone, okay? If you want to save money, you want to drive a decent car, have good range mm -hmm. and good customer service, you should just look into one of these and build your credit. You know, if you're like your first time car or whatever, get a VF8. Start, mm -hmm. start small. You know, in three years, you get the VF9. You know, if you have kids, mm -hmm. VF9, dogs, cats, everybody fits in there. It doesn't matter. One more thing is uh, before you learn about a VinFast uh, car, how much do you know about the Vietnamese people and culture? I'm I'm actually I'm engaged to an Asian woman, and uh, she taught me what a bami sandwich was. Oh, you mean she's a Vietnamese? No, she's Asian. She's Filipina. Oh, okay. Um, she taught me what the bami sandwich was, and I was like, "What is this? Is this Vietnamese?" She's like, "No." It's Vietnamese, it's not Filipino, it's Vietnamese, it's Vietnamese. Uh -huh. I was like, okay, great. And that's how I kind of found out about it. But I mean, also I was raised in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Vietnamese people over there too. Okay. All kinds of um, Asian American families out there. So I've always knew about Vietnam. Okay. You know, my, uh, we have family go over there as well. I have family in, in Vietnam. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So you feel like that uh, the product, the VinFast uh, car, somehow... Uh, it helped you to, um, it's opened up to um, you the more opportunity to learn about the, the Vietnam as a country and the people and the culture yeah. through the products. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the product is a statement of Vietnam, you know. You might just hear, oh, they're Vietnamese or he's Vietnamese, she's Vietnamese. But that's all you would hear. But when you see a product that comes from, from that mindset, that group of people, you actually see how innovative they are, you know, as far as creating a car from scratch. Bin Group was just Bin Group. They just did Bin Fast, you know, out of the whim. You know, mm -hmm. they just said, hey, let's make cars now because mm -hmm. there's a lot of money and they have good ideas. Mm -hmm. And this is a product of their innovations, of their good ideas. 
I accept it 100%. Wow. Well, I really appreciate uh, yeah, man. you taking Absolutely. your time to share with me. You will. And I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, sir. I appreciate okay. you. Good to meet you. <laughs> I'm Super Nam. Super Nam. I'm Marvin. Is your Nam? How are you? Good. How are you? What, what's your name? I'm Marvin. I'm Marvin. Harvey. Uh huh. Are you working for Vinfast? I'm working for Vinfast. How long have you been working? I've been uh, working here since March. Six months. Since March. That's oh, right. I see. Uh huh. So how, how did you? I'm, I'm kind of new here, but I like it here. Oh, I see. So how how did you end up working for Vinfast? Did you know uh, Vin? Did you? How did you hear about Vinfast? First time. I heard about it before on uh, social media and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. The interesting car, the car company from Vietnam, and uh, I like it. So, have you uh, met any interesting uh, customer? Do you have any funny story that you can, you can share with uh, my channel? Uh, see, yeah, um, I was talking to you about this a few minutes ago. Uh, I had a customer Wednesday and Tuesday um, talking about your channel. Pretty cool. Uh, we were talking about watching your channel, tell them about a lot about, about the cars and all that good stuff. And um, you're a good resource for person for these cars because um, even though you talk about Vin, you only talk about VinFast or Vietnamese language and all that good stuff, there's still a lot of people watching your channel who was interested in the car. Um, when did he buy the? Did he buy the VinFast? Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. About he said September or October last year, oh, and he likes it. <laughs> Did he, he tell you uh, he watched my video after he buy the car or before he buy the car? I'm not sure about that one specifically, but he just we just spoke, we were just talking about the cars and he told me about your YouTube channel. Did he think I'm crazy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean if he if, if he thinks you're crazy, he's crazy too. He likes the car. <laughs> well, that's uh, I appreciate that. Anyway. Uh, Thank you for uh, helping me film the Vin Phan Vietnam earlier, and uh, I really like the car. And... So when are you getting one? When? I can't wait. I I have to talk to my boss. <laughs> Actually, the Vietnam is the one I reserved like uh -huh. almost two years ago because, because you know when I look at the whole lineup of Vin Phan's car, the, the Vietnam stand out because it look uh, it look really bold. You're very masculine, and I have a big family. I have uh, four big boys. Yeah. Four big boys. I think they have, they have about this, your, your size. My size. <laughs> and uh, you know, so we have six six, six in the family, and uh, my mother-in-law. So it's seven seater, right? Mm -hmm. so, it's, it's, so I feel like it's a perfect uh, perfect fit. Yeah. 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 But I end up uh, getting a VF8 because um, that's the one that was available I, at the time. Yeah, I test drive it like 18 months ago, and I I, I love it right away. And, uh -huh. I, and I I changed my mind. You know, I said, why don't I drive a VF8 first while I'm waiting for the VF9? And I couldn't wait. It took that long for the VF9 to uh, finally uh, ready for you know uh, for the US market. It's finally yeah, yeah, yeah. It took a while. But this morning, I mean earlier today, I, I test drive with um, um, Eddie. Mm -hmm. and it was uh, very impressed with the car. The uh, handling, the car handling is very powerful. Even though it's uh, heavier than the uh, uh, but it has plenty of power. And, and I don't feel like I'm driving a big car at all. I feel like I'm driving a, a BFA. Especially with the air suspension, it drives very well. Yeah, and uh, I understand the. Uh, the rear suspension, air suspension, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 the driver is smooth and very quiet, pretty much like the BMW. Mm -hmm. And it's it bigger in interior, the cabin, the chair, uh, feel a little bit bigger mm -hmm. than the BMW. The good thing is that you drove it yourself, so you can get uh, with your own opinion and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, would, it would be very nice if I have my whole family. One of these days, you know, I hope I have a chance to um, have my whole family in it and uh, drive it, maybe make a trip by area to Sacramento. Sacramento. <laughs> when you pick up your VF9? <laughs> well, I would love to show up a VF9 because I, I got so much uh, compliment from strangers. Uh -huh. Almost every time, everywhere I go, every time, uh, every time I go to a check-in station, or even when I'm driving on freeway, I get people. Uh, sometimes they. They stop me and, and ask me about the VF8. Mm -hmm. The VF9 even more awesome. And I think it would what color do you think you want to get VF9 in? Uh, if I want to get VF9, I probably get a white, 
my, my wife, she doesn't want the black. <laughs> you know, the white, uh, the red one was crimson red, really nice. Nice one, huh? What well, interior? Huh? What interior color? Interior, probably white again. White again? I have Red a white, and white? Yeah. I have white interior right now okay. on my BMA, and mm -hmm. I actually like it because it's, uh, it's very bright. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks very, very luxurious. I see. All anyway, right. nice talking to you, and it's all to Hello, I'm Subhanam. What's your name? Asu Lawrence. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too. What do you do here? What do you do here at the Fat Showroom? Uh, I sell these uh, electric cars. You sell? Uh, yeah, one of the client advisors here. Oh, you sell in Vinfast, the electric car. Good. So how, how did you hear about Vinfast? Oh, Vinfast before this, I mean, I ended up just watching, you know, I watch a lot of YouTube. I saw Donut Media was one of the first ones I saw. But yeah, I saw a lot of YouTube videos of what I saw first. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You saw a lot of YouTube videos about yeah. Vinfast yeah, those before, those you, before you apply for the job? Mm -hmm. But a lot of videos are really bad. And they, 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 the first ones, yeah, yeah, the first ones were pretty bad. So why, why, why you want to work for Binfast when you, when you see a lot of YouTube videos talking bad about uh, my VMA? No, it's all perspective. I mean, you gotta try it out yourself. You know, what I mean? you have to you have to get hands on, figure it out, drive it yourself. And at the end of the day, I mean, everybody, you might not agree with what I agree. Maybe if I like something, maybe you don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was about it. And then I drove it here. Obviously, I drove it before I started because. I had a friend here that was already working here. Uh -huh. I drove it and I was like, man, those videos are crazy. It was like, it's not a bad car. Oh, so you drove the Vin Fast VFA first? Yeah, it was the city. Oh, city. city. Yeah, okay. and, and, and you liked it the first time? Yeah, I didn't think anything was wrong with it. I mean, it's a I, car's built better than I would have built a car. I'll tell you that much, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> so uh, how long have you worked for Vin Fast? I've been with the group since early February. Oh. February? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What is the most uh, challenge talk about work, working at the uh, Vinfast showroom? Uh, I mean, about your job. Mm. Honestly, it's not that hard. I mean, I came from a traditional dealerships, so coming into this, it was about it being just friendly and seamless. So, like you know, people didn't really have to worry about. Oh, I'm gonna be in here for hours haggling about the price and whatnot. So no, I mean, there's not that many challenges. The only real challenge would be, like you said, the early videos. Anybody that comes in here is still like, oh, I saw the early, or before they even make you here, right? Over the phone, they're like, oh yeah, I saw the videos, I saw the reviews, it was terrible, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you gotta come in. I'm like, I'm not even gonna sit you down and be like, sign away so you can buy the car. It's like, no, just come get the information, test drive the car, and if it all goes good, who knows, maybe you'll place an order and pick up the car within a week. Mm -hmm. So so let me ask you, uh, have, you, have, you, have you ever seen my video, you, you know, my channel? No, I mean, I oh, You saw a lot of video, but mostly bad ones. Mostly bad ones, yeah. So I'm my, assuming your video was good, right? Yeah. Well, I'm the owner, That's I'm the owner. Yeah. I'm the owner, so I, I tell the truth. Yeah. You know, the reason I'm doing it because uh, a lot of people ask me about the car. You know, right. the people that, you know, happen to be next to my car. Yeah. And they ask me about the car. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's what I'm sharing. Uh, yeah. No, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Even driving these cars around, I'll be stuck at, like, say, like, the, the charging stations. Mm -hmm. and certain people will literally look at it, too, and they're like, oh, what is this? And we start talking about it, and they'll be sitting in their... Well, you want that in your brands, right? But like, if you're a more expensive car or whatnot, or well established brand, they'll literally be like, they'll sit inside it and I'll just be like, yeah, this is actually a soul car. I'm just charging it for one of my customers. And they'll literally be like, dude, this thing's better than my car. And they're like, I, I wish I would have known about this. And I'm like, yeah, we're, we're, we're down the street. It happened, the it happened to me a few times. Yeah, it happens. Chapping this and this. So are you familiar with other electric car brands besides Vinfast? Yeah, something about this this field, instead of like the other dealerships, would have been that you do need to know the competitors. Is the other brands are you, yeah, you can you can lie to me or wrong, you're gonna be like, Oh yeah, you know, you're looking at another truck compared to this truck, yeah, you know, our truck is better or whatever. But no, when it comes down to this, everybody all the information is online. Everybody can easily research, research their own their own brands and whatnot. So when they end up coming in here, obviously I have to know. So I have to know about Tesla, I gotta know about Rivian. Mm -hmm. Moose is some brands that people still bring in every now and then, don't get it wrong. Even though I feel like we're all in different criteria, right? Mm -hmm. Different tiers. But yeah, you gotta learn about it. 
You know, I get a lot of uh, stranger. Uh, they they never seen my Vinfast car before, and they never heard about the brand before. So it's not like people are aware of it. So what what do you want to tell the the public who are interested in uh, electric cars, but only hear uh, mostly a negative review about the Vinfast, uh, especially the VFA. What what do you want to tell those people? How do you persuade them to give themselves a chance to try it out? Absolutely. It, it's always, it goes down to just trying, right? Because when you hear about this brand and everybody comes in here, I mean, we, we go through it every single day and it's always the, it's the, the easiest, it's the, the best question. Everybody's like, it's always going to be, I've heard of it or I've seen it, I've heard the bad things, or it's going to be some people that came in here because it's the mom and it's always, what is this? never heard of it and i'm always since i always like, obviously been here for a few few months now I'm, I'm like that's the easiest question that's actually the fun question i'm always like if you haven't heard about it it's actually a good thing i was like because you're not going to know anything bad <laughs> and i can easily fill you in on all the great stuff and then just simply do a great killer walk around just show them the nice things that we have for the affordable price it's like crazy all the test drives that we've had for this deal that we have at 249 it's always like there's no way you're getting all this 249. I'm like, yeah, it's 249. They're like, what, what's the catch? It's always over the phone. It's always like, what's the catch? I'm like, I don't know. I was like, you got to drive it in. It's a new company. Like it. yeah, a new brand. Like it. yeah, exactly. It's a new brand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, uh, Jesus, uh, that's, that's a very, um, very useful um, information. And I appreciate you uh, sharing with me. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for your time. Absolutely. Thanks.